Welcome to Art of the Drink. My name is Anthony Caffarelli. We're here at the Capitol File Magazine after party for the White House Press Correspondence Center. We're going to be talking to some of DC's hottest bartenders. Check out the amazing cocktails that they've made for this incredible party. Okay, so we're working with John Arroyo. John, where do you work? Oh, I work for Founding Farmers uh, on 20th in Pennsylvania. It's in the, located inside the IMF building. Fantastic. And what cocktail are you going to do for us today? Today we're going to do the Shays Rebellion. Uh, this drink was uh, created because a guest came into the restaurant and said, hey, make me a drink called the Shays Rebellion, because that's what his name was. Okay. Well, first thing I thought about was the Whiskey Rebellion. Next sure. Next thing you know, Maker's Mark is involved, and bam, Shays Rebellion is born. It's a really simple, simple recipe. We take fresh raspberries, we take a little bit of some fresh lemon juice here, put that in the drink. You got about a half ounce, it looks like? It looks like a half ounce is correct, sir. Okay. Very good. A little bit of uh, homemade ginger syrup that we make in our restaurant. So it looks like about a half ounce of each one? Uh, exactly, half ounce of each one. Okay. Very good. And then a uh, quick little muddle. You just want to get a nice little puree, a little consistency in there. So you got a little sweet from the raspberry, a little heat from the ginger going on, and then the sour from the yeah, lemon, you right? You get a little spice, you get a little bit of the sour from the lemon, and then you get a little bit of the sweet from the raspberry. Fantastic. Kind of merry well. And then finally, last but not least, we add our whiskey. Maker's Mark, of course. Absolutely. We don't mess around with the Maker's Mark. We do two ounces. Bam. All right, so. Put a little ice in that guy. We're gonna shake it up. When you have citrus and sweet together, you definitely want to shake it up. I agree, absolutely. All right, that'll do. And what we do is we're going to fine strain this out into the cocktail glass just so that we have the essence of this delicious beverage and not a lot of pulp. Fantastic. And for the viewers, this is a technique called double straining, where you strain it once from the tin into a fine sieve, and that gets the pulp out and the seeds out, right? Exactly right. I'm assuming you've done this before. A couple times, yeah. Two, three times, I'm sure. We finish this off to add a little bit of aromatics to it. Uh, we do a little rose water. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Taste with your nose. All right, exactly. And then finally, A little lemon will action. True to the sour heritage of the drink, right? Cheers, Look at sir. that. Look how crystal clear and beautiful that is. John? Enjoy. Oh, that, that hits you from six it, inches you away. You know, tomorrow's Mother's Day. You got to have roses. Mm. Oh, fantastic. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank John, you. thank you so much. Hey, it's my pleasure. Appreciate it. Each week, our Art of the Drink video podcast prize package will consist of a Maker's Mark apron, a copy of my Art of the Drink Volume 1 Bar Essentials DVD, and a limited edition version of That Special Touch, a Maker's Mark cookbook not available in stores. All right, so we're working with Logan Skidmore from Alto Plaza. Logan, welcome. Thanks, How you doing, man? Tell me a little bit about the drink you got going for us. Well, today we're doing a uh, modern variation on a classic derby cocktail. It's okay. Called. So mine is called the Derby Cocktail Number Two. All right, beautiful. Pretty simple. Okay. We're gonna start with a honey clove star anise, uh, a simple serve that we made at home. Honey clove star anise. Yes. Fantastic. A and star anise, anise is licorice well. for yeah, the, a little the bit of little little licorice flavor. Fantastic. Okay. We're gonna start with about an ounce of that. Nice. We're going to add our Maker's Mark. I'm a two-ounce guy, but obviously this isn't going to fit in this glass, so we're going to go with about an ounce and a quarter. Okay, all right. Okay. Add a little bit of acidity. We're going to use some fresh lemon juice, probably about, uh, with this particular size glass, about a half an ounce. Okay. Like that, just to balance it out. And that's it. Three-ingredient drink, nice and simple. Beautiful. Okay. And add our ice. Just like that. I prefer working with bourbon to stir, so we don't bruise it at all here. Keep it clear. Exactly. Keep it okay. nice and simple and clear. Just get it nice and chilled and worked in there. Nice and simple. You're going to top it off there, strain it right into your glass. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice honey color. I was just going to say, it looks like honey. It's fantastic. It and now that's great. It's a derby cocktail. I like to do mine with a little bit of mint. Give it a nice slap like that right on top. Nice. Just to bruise it a little? Just to bruise a little, cracks it, lets the uh, oils out so you can smell it as you drink it. Right, 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 right. You know right. I mean? And just a nice little star anise on top for uh, for looks, basically. Ready and to there go? There you have it. Derby cocktail number two. Derby cocktail number two. Let's see what you got. Oh, dude, that's... You smell it, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, man. You like it? Oh, fantastic. dude, I can't even tell you. That's fantastic. Good. That's fantastic. Congratulations, man. My pleasure. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Having.